shit. I'll be running across some shit, man. It'd be some things. <laughs> so, let me just talk about it, because, you know, be fucking around talking. I'll be like, so, y'all won't believe what happened. So, y'all won't believe. It's like, nigga, just tell us what happened. God damn it, shit. Go straight to the story. But, um, met the young lady. You know, I met the young lady at the beach, right? And, uh, you know, I was communicating with her, but my mentality at this age is everybody doesn't deserve your truth. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my mentality at this point in my life, because everybody doesn't want your truth. Some people deserve and want the perception of you that they have. The perception of you that they have is what's going to bring the best out of them. Sometimes not even the best out of them. It'll bring you something. I can't say it's the best version of themselves, but a lot of young ladies want the perception of you. You know what I'm saying? And when a young lady has a perception of you already and she sees you in a particular light, that can bring forth something. Now, there's something may not be what you consider um, top tier. It may it may not be considered, you know, uh, something that's going to get you to the next level. So whenever you give somebody the perception that they that they have of you and you give them that character that you've given them at the end of the day, the truth of the matter is this. It never lasts. It never lasts. You know what I'm saying? And usually it don't end well. But for a lot of individuals, you know what I'm saying, within the game, you know that this broad, she takes a liking towards gangsters, you know, uh, gestures, gigolos. You know what I mean? Niggas with the gangster grip and not a good catch hand. Niggas that's a boyfriend yimp and tripping at the same time. You know what I mean? It's And you notice, right? So you play into that image of what she likes. And you're giving her the perception. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, at the end of the day, if you are who you are, you, you exemplify your truth and being the truth in regards to this game, she's not accepting of that. There's more broads that are rejecting the game than accepting the truth of the lifestyle. So I'll give you a, I'll give you an example. A broad might look at you, smile, and you could just tell because the level of discernment of you dealing with different women to tell you, this bitch, she don't want no gentleman at leisure. All that suit and tie shit, that bitch don't want that. You know what I mean? The bitch gonna look at you like a comedy skit. Like, what you dressing like this for? <laughs> You're like, uh, it's a Halloween costume that you got this suit on and shit? Or who died? Or are you getting married? You know what I'm saying? So, me knowing that this broad wants the perception, you know what I'm saying? She wants a gesture. And some dudes that are playing into that because... A lot of dudes don't, they starting to lose faith that there's real horn out here. And I, I've, 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 I've said this before because I see it more common in a lifestyle more than ever. And I can still consider myself uh, young in the game, but I see a lot of individuals that are losing that faith because a lot of the bitches, they don't want what real gentlemen of leisures have to offer. But then when I talk to certain individuals, too, uh, within the game, uh, there's still hope. You know what I'm saying? But going back to this young lady, and I'm going to tie everything together, you know what I'm saying, to sum up the message. But uh, this young lady, she don't want no real folks. You know, the bitch told me that she's on vacation. And, you know, I'm, I'm on vacation from home and, and, you know, uh you know, I, I, I'm I'm just chilling right now. You know, I, I'm not really looking for folks right now. You know, after vacation, maybe. You know what I mean? Like, if we vibe, you know, I don't want it to be like, oh, I'm just breaking on this hoe. You know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah, I feel you. Sometimes a hoe need a vacation. You feel me? 
You know, we can't be out there working all hard and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? A bitch just want to have fun. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with that, bitch. And the reason why I came across like that is because the bottom line is, and I'm just being honest, uh, me saying, you know, it's about principles and a man of integrity and, you know, standing in the truth. And, you know, if you stand in the truth and you know the truth, then the truth shall make you free. And, you know, you want to be an erudite of this lifestyle. You want to be eclectic. You want to be, you know, you want to self prophesize, you know, things that you want in a lifestyle. And do you know what this word means in the dictionary? Bitch ain't trying to hear none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Bitch ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Bitch ain't trying to hear none of that shit. You know what I mean? I'm just being honest. Sometimes the reality is a bitch just wants somebody that is able to seduce her. You know, the bad boy image, the, the tough guy image. Check this out, bitch. We not doing none of that shit you talking about. You know what I'm saying, bitch? It ain't going to be no innocent night, bitch. You know what I'm saying? What you going to do is put on them socks, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what they want to hear. They don't like niggas be trying to come with these deep ass doctrine, but that's not a deep bitch. And I, and I understand because majority of real it's more pimps, authentic pimps that are holist or one bitch than ever before. So I understand the level of intellect that a pimp nowadays has to have. And on top of that, I understand that. The catching comes before the hanging. You know what I'm saying? You got to get the bitch to like you before she's even receptive towards your information. You know, and, you know, I'm just being honest. What these bitches like is the niggas that rap, look like rappers. So it might be a motherfucker that see me on Instagram and say, man, Ambassador Ron just sharp. Then you see me in person and, you know, I'm in some motherfucking Tim's. And some jeans. And you might be like, well, what is this, nigga? Ambassador Ron, I thought you was going to be suited and booted. and You know what I mean? But the reality is in the times that we're living in now, you know, they're intimidated by that. Not all. Not all. Not all. Let me, let me just say that. Because if you go to places like Columbia, right, there's young ladies that are very friendly and respectful and that, but they are square when it comes to the lifestyle. You know what I mean? You can't come with just the pimping because their definition of pimping overseas is guys that are human traffickers. So you have to approach them from the standpoint of getting them to like you and your personality. You know what I'm saying? You, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Play into their perception of you. And some people will say, well, that's deception. That's deception. That's lying to the bitch, Ron. No, it's being wise. You know what I'm saying? It's being wise because you understand that everybody doesn't deserve your truth. And, uh, you know, campaigning at individuals that find you attractive. You know what I mean? That's one of the most wisest things that I've learned within this lifetime. And it'll save you a lot of time. It'll, it'll save your energy, it'll preserve your energy because you'll find yourself popping it and you'll get discouraged. Because you'd be like, man, ain't none of these hoes choosing. They all faggots and they all punks. You know, all these bitches ain't shit. The game is over with, you know what I mean? The, you know, I'm going to leave these young bitches to you young niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? You find yourself in a state of depression within the lifestyle because it's not necessarily the lifestyle. It's what these bitches want. And playing it to playing it to what these bitches want could be a problem for the authentic pimping because you're always gonna rev- you're always gonna be in a constant battle because you're always gonna want to be the truth because you are the truth and I can I'm speaking for all the authentic representation it's always gonna be a conflict of interest that's why authentic representations. We need to campaign in better arenas because when I hear about Colombia, you know what I'm saying? And the women are friendly and some of the Colombian women in America, you, you know what I'm saying? That I ran across that are not, they, they're not too much uh, 
Europeanized, or excuse me, not Europeanized. What am I talking about? They're not too much, you know, uh, tainted with, uh, you know, the U.S.'s way of doing things. You know what I'm saying? Those are the ones you want. The ones that are from cities that you don't know about, the small little towns that you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? If if you're not if you're not going outside the U.S. You know what I'm saying? I think those are the most, um, those are the most, those are the most, um, receptive to the game because they don't have all that attention. It's not a competition. You don't have to live up to the hyper, the perception of what they see on television. So save yourself some some uh some some heartache, headache, backache, leg ache. I mean shit, you know, pimps started to get everything starting to ache on a pimp's body and you didn't even do nothing. Shit. You know, pimp wake up, everything's aching. And you like, damn, why do I feel like I just fucking you know what I mean? What's going on, man? Why do pimp feel like he's been working out? But um Long story short, I played into the perception of what the young lady wanted, right? And I'm going to talk about the pros and the cons to this. Um, And when I played into this perception, you know, like, yeah, you know, sometimes a bitch need a break. You know what I mean? We don't need to, you know, going hard all the time. You know, sometimes a bitch just want to have fun. And I know goddamn well that ain't me. Now, I believe in having a balance. But this whole a hoe taking a break, bitch, you didn't even have a pimp. But I could, instead of correcting her, and yeah, you know, no, that's not right. That's not the right terminology. No, bitch, you know, if you're a hoe, you got a pimp. And no, that's not the right thing to do. And, you know, as a woman, you, you want to understand and, and start moving my hands and back straight and looking her in the eye. Nah, fuck all that. Look, I said, look, bitch, you know what I mean? Top of it, I am yo, top of it. Shout out to everybody in the live. Um, I was just like, you know what, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I I got a good, I got a good, I got a good understanding on what type of dude this bitch was. So me playing into this image, uh, I'm I'm gonna tell you why it can be within a downfall because. The same image and perception that you're putting on, there's a many other guys. There's so many other guys that are putting on that exact same image. There's so many, and they're, and, they're, and I'm saying this, I'm going to say this. They're putting on a better facade than you are. And it's not necessarily a facade because when, when it comes to authentic pimping that have true intentions... And I almost feel bad for us authentic representation because it is rough. We we in a time where these bitches are just weak, man. We living in a time where these bitches is weak. So for pimp find a good hoe, man, shit. <laughs> I know this might sound square, but you know what I mean. Be appreciative of some good hoeing. You know what I'm saying for real, because it's not a lot of real hoes out there. But um, the reason why it can be detrimental is because she thinks that she can trick you, manipulate you the same way she did the other guy. She can't distinguish that you're giving her the perception that she has of you and not the true you. She can't distinguish that, okay, you're just giving me the perception of how I view you versus a nigga that's really a goofy they can't distinguish the difference between the two. So she's going to put you in the same box as a goofy. You know what I'm saying? Because I know I know it's a lot of peas out there that, you know, the bitch like this, fuck it. Because the reality is authentic pimps are tired. They're tired. You know what I'm saying? They're tired. They're tired. And I'm speaking for real pimps. You know what I'm saying? They're tired. You might say, well, Bastard, how do you know? Because, nigga, I'm one of them. Shit. Real pimps are tired. You know what I'm saying? That's why I like going live and popping it. But uh, you might say, well, well shit, Ron, what do you think the solution is then, nigga? If you feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, campaigning in the better arenas 
and taking the time out with young ladies that actually like you, that are attracted to you, getting in these areas where a young lady's attracted to you, and you don't have to be in a lifestyle to um, to grasp this message. You know what I mean? You don't have to be in a lifestyle to grasp this message. Because when you're around quality, like like I said, in Colombia, where you have women that are naturally nice, they're not uptight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I want to put it on YouTube yet. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been posting anything on my YouTube yet. I've been considering it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not sure yet. Honestly, I'm not sure, man. I don't condone or promote any criminal activities whatsoever. Uh, while I'm on this live, I just had to put that out there. Um, I don't know yet. I really don't know if I want to put it on YouTube yet, man. That's a good question. I, I'm considering it. Um, yeah, man. It, it's just important for us, for us gentlemen of leisure, to preserve our energy because... A lot of people can get very discouraged in this shit. I appreciate that, man. I'm going to need help. I'm going to need more subscribers, man. A lot of people act like they're scared to hit that subscribe button. I think I'm like at 721 right now. And uh, I haven't put no money behind it. I, I don't pay for no subscribers. It's purely just, you know... I wish I had more support out of individuals within the lifestyle, but that's what makes everything so much better and greater, man. The real ones support me, and that's that's what counts the most. And I appreciate those that do support me, man. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Some people deserve the the uh the perception of you. You know, they don't deserve the real you. You know what I'm saying? And, and I brought up the, the cons of that because it's pros and cons when it comes to this, uh, you know, the perception of you versus the real you versus the truth. You know, and I touched on this on, a, on one of my other lives, actually. But I still, you know, I like the fact that I'm actually going more in depth into it now. And this is just a topic that just came to my mind. You know, this is not something that I even... I was like, you know, I'm going to go live on this. You know what I mean? It's something that I went through today that, you know. Um, I was like, man, I need to touch on that. Because it's a lot of peace going through the same thing. And, um, yeah, with the young lady, you know, using the word nigga. Nigga this, nigga that. Everything's nigga. I'm like, yeah, another one of these. You know what I'm saying? Because by playing it to the perception of her... You're putting a lot on the line, your freedom, your life. There's so many things that could be, uh, that could be um, put on the line. There's so many things you have to take in consideration when you're dealing with young ladies. And you put on the perception. She might even put you in situations to where she going to see if you're going to crash out or not. Because that's the perception you gave her. You know what I'm saying? You gave her the perception that you with the shit. So she may bring with the shit situations to you. You know what I'm saying? So then you might ask, well, Ron, what do you think the answer is in regards to the catching comes before the hanging? What does that look like? Attract quality and, and don't make it just about her breaking tricks. You guys actually get to know each other. But it's important for you to attract quality. You know what I'm saying? Don't make it about the lifestyle initially. Make it about the rapport, the relationship. But attract once you see to the bitch, at the end of the day, she wants the she wants the perception that she has of you. Cause when a broad looks at you, they already conjugate a perception of you. They already have an idea of what type of dude you are just off the bat because they've dealt with different guys. You look like the rough nigga. How many times y'all didn't heard that? You know, you look like a rough nigga. You look like you would beat a bitch ass or you look like they have a perception. So be very aware. Develop a level of discernment where you know the perception of others. 
And this is a whole different level of game that a lot of people won't understand. Develop a level of discernment to where you understand the perception, you know what I'm saying, that other people have of you. That's a whole different level of game. When you campaign and you know you out and you campaign and you like, man, I know the perception that this young lady has of me, then you'll be able to diversify your campaign. You know what I'm saying? Because perception, at the end of the day, the reason why I'm speaking so heavy on perception, because per- you know what I'm saying? Uh, perception determines what you value. I appreciate that payday, man. Appreciate that. Perception determines your value. So, like, when I'm bringing up uh, this story, she didn't value the things that I value. So, how do you expect to be truly appreciated? When you're dealing with a broad that only wants the perception that she has of you, then you have to ask yourself, what does life look like at 70? What does life look like at 80? You know what I'm saying? What does life look like long term if I'm dealing with a bitch that only wants the perception? You know what I mean? And I can go on and on about the perception because it's, it's so it, it it's deep. It can it is very deep. But I'm gonna talk about the 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 pros because there's two sides of it, right? The pros of it is this: uh, a young lady can uh, end up growing to like you. She she can grow into, you know what? I got the perception of him, and I was around him. You know, and uh, when I was around him, you know what I'm saying? I like his energy. Although, he, you know, he's, you know, your perception might be that you're crazy and that you you blow off a nigga head. But, you know, at the same time, I like the fact that he has a soft side. And she may look at your soft side as her bringing out the <laughs> her bringing out the other side of you. When the reality is the soft side is just who you really are. And you wouldn't even consider consider it a soft side. It's just the gentleman side of you. But the bitch don't know that. She can't decipher the difference. And she can grow to like that. And say, well, I know different sides of him. And that can be a beautiful thing because it can show her growth. It can also show her a different side of the game. It can also show her something that she may have never seen in her life. Anti-top of it. But she has to want to see that. She has to have the mental capacity to be on that level. And um, a lot of the young ladies are not at that level. You have to go to those small towns and those small cities and have those intellectual conversations with young ladies. You know what I'm saying? But uh, at the end of the day, it could be a benefit. It could definitely, most definitely be a benefit from the standpoint of, you know, a, a young lady can grow to like you. Now it's a rarity that a lot of them change, but there are they're out there. There's some young ladies that definitely can change, and me just having a, a very good level of discernment and a j- good judge of character. You know what I'm saying? They're out there, but uh, when you see a wolf, don't say ah oh, that wolf. You know what I mean? I see the blood on his mouth. I see the way the wolf looks. I know it's a wolf. But I think it's a husky. Once you see some, somebody for who they are, believe them. There's a saying when I was growing up, you know, my grandfather used to say this a lot. He said, when people tell you that they don't like you, believe them. <laughs> Shit. When people tell you that they hate you, believe them. The other benefit of, of, uh, of an individual giving the perception that the young lady may want the 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 perception of uh what the young lady uh endeavors to really have is you dealing with a broad that wants the perception of you 
Um, she can get you to the bitch that wants the truth. She can get you to that bitch that wants the truth. You know what I'm saying? That wants the gentleman of leisure. That doesn't want the goofy, the clown, the gesture, the gigolo, the character. You know what I'm saying? There's a young lady out there that does want the, the truth, man. You may, you may go through a lot of young ladies, get to that point, especially if you some real folks. But it's stay determined, stay down. You know, there's days where I was like, man, man, what's going on? You know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going on. You know what I mean? It, is it my clothes? You start to second guess yourself. But don't second guess yourself. Remember the times where you was homeless. Remember the times where you was going through your ups and downs. And also remember when you got back on top. You know what I'm saying? And then this time, you know, the next time you get back in position, is it's important. Just for me analyzing my life and analyzing others and talking to different gentlemen, put yourself in a position to where you never have to go back. We got to put our money in the right areas. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's one of the biggest challenges a lot of gentlemen of leisure have is knowing where to put their money. Shit, I'm speaking from my own experience, you know. Knowing exactly where to put the money and knowing, you know what I'm saying, uh, not necessarily knowing who to uh, be the truth towards, because I'm starting to I'm starting to pick up on it quicker now. Like, I'm not giving people I'm not giving any young ladies the benefit of the doubt because I don't have that time. Once you show me something, I believe you. I'm not gonna wait for you to show me something else because you may never show it to me. You know what I'm saying? So when a young lady shows you. She wants the perception that she has of you. If she's if she fuck with you, when you say, you know what, bitch, check this out. You know all this pimping and shit. That's cool, but I just want you, bitch. I just want to see what that tongue do. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm trying to see. What's up, bitch? You know what I mean? I'm just trying to see what's up with that tongue, bitch. You know what I mean? That's all I want. You know what I mean? The pimping, yeah, that's cool. Suit and ties. But I just want to take your face and shove it up my lap, bitch. And she liked that. Oh, <laughs> I like that. You know what I'm saying? If that's as deep as the conversation could go, well, how far do you think you're going to go with a bitch like that? You know what I mean? Stop expecting champagne taste with a beer budget bitch. She wants the perception. So you might say, okay, Ron. You said you bring up the pros and the cons. I'm guessing how do you know which one and the reality is like which which one will get to the point of liking you, which one, you know, it won't. You'll know through experience, you'll know because they'll give you signs. Your level of discernment will be able to tell you. The more young ladies you deal with, the more you'll be conscientious and you'll pick up on certain things. There's there's certain tendencies, there's, cer- there's certain uh, um, familiarity that you, you, you'll start to associate one young lady with another young lady. Like, OK, you know what? There's a lot of familiarities with, you know, what this broad said versus what this other broad said. Not to say that all women are the same. But, you know, if it quack like a duck <laughs> and it walk like a duck and I've seen a, a duck quack and walk like this before, this is called learned behavior. That's like somebody, you know what I'm saying, with, a, with an iron fist running up on me and punching me right in my motherfucking face. And then I say, that hurt. Then I see somebody else running up the same way with an iron fist. What are you going to assume this time? I mean, do you assume that they're going to give you a fucking hug? It's like, well, not everybody, not everybody's like that. Yeah, the person that's not like that is show me opposite. You know what I'm saying? Somebody, somebody that is opposite, because I know what love looks like. You know what I mean? Now, if I've never had a reference point. You know what I'm saying? I have an idea. I've seen it from others. You know what I mean? I've seen it from others. I 
have an idea of what a woman looks like. I have an idea of what a submissive lady looks like. You know what I mean? I've been around it before. So, you know, I I think we get, I think a lot of us, uh, because even myself, like a lot of times I find myself explaining certain things and I'm like, why am I even explaining this shit to this bitch? Because none of this shit matter unless she like me. You know what I'm saying? My game is going to hit a, 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 a cap with this bitch. You know, to sum everything up, you know, having a level of discernment and understanding that the perception that she wants from you could be a pro or a con and get into that level, man, it's definitely a different level of game. Because once you develop that, you have a level of discernment that many don't have, man. You know what I'm saying? How many minutes we in? I was live earlier too, man. That's the crazy part. I was live earlier. And uh, I was bringing up this same topic earlier. But that broad, uh, I didn't even end up finishing the story. That's the crazy part. But that with that young lady, um, I pulled up. Pull up in the parking lot, nigga. Like, damn, like, why you not pulling up in the parking lot? Like, what's going on? I'm like, bitch, who the fuck is you talking to? I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? And the reality is, check the shit in the beginning. You know what I mean? Check the shit in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? Because you might say that you want to go with the perception. Like I said, that creates disrespect. You know what I mean? And what a bitch should take an itch and then run the whole football field. So you want to you wanna cut that shit in the beginning. You don't want to be sitting up there talking to you, calling your nigga because you, you're playing into this perception. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, how the fuck did I get here? Then I look back at some of my other situations. I said, oh, certain things, you know what I'm saying? You could have cut off right there and there. This is the opportunity for you, Ambassador Ron, because what's more important? You know, longevity or temporary uh, compensations. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want a pimp just to get me throughout the day. You know what I'm saying? And to be real with you, sometimes you will have you will pimp to get you through the day. Shit, I'm gonna be honest. That's not what I want though. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, man, I I cut that shit off. Cause it, it was gonna end bad. Because the dude, she was with a dude the whole time in the car and. I would just make it, you know, he was he was listening to our conversation and he was telling the bitch that I'm scary because I didn't pull up in the park a lot. I had her walk to me and he was like, she texted me saying he said you were scary and she didn't want to get in the car because I was in the car with somebody else. And, you know, it just sounded like a setup, you know what I mean? And I, I you know, it just a reminder that standards are here to protect you. Yeah, standards are here to protect you, man. Standards are here to protect you. And it's and I don't get discouraged. I actually get encouraged because I'm evolving as a man. Whereas before I, I might have texted her and tried to make it work and try to make it work. And it's like, nah, that ain't me, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Leave that alone. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. See, when you know yourself too, and that's another thing. When you when you know yourself and when you start to look at your worth, start to look at some of the things that you have in you that you're proud of. You know, I always tell a young lady that I that, you know, ever talks to Ambassador Ron and ever gets involved with me in regards to me presiding over her. Write down five things that you like about yourself. You know what I'm saying? I start thinking about all the things that, you know, uh, that I like about myself. And I'm like, you know, and like I said, this could go either way. I'm like, this bitch don't even deserve the perception of <laughs> that I, she don't even deserve the perception around this mother. She don't even deserve that. You know what I mean? Because even the perception that you might be putting out there, you know what I mean? That could be giving the bitch some game. I ain't gonna lie. Because she'll know how to code switch. Yeah, I'm I'm talking on a whole different level of game right now. 
A lot of them YouTube niggas can't fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas can't fuck with Ambassador Ron, bruh. Even your perception of who she views you to be can be giving that bitch game. She could pick up on that shit. A lot of people say the bitch ain't, she ain't mentally intelligent like that. Yeah, until she take your game and use it with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? These bitches ain't as stupid as we think. They may be dumb, but they not stupid. You know what I mean? Yeah, even even your perception. That's a game right there. Even the perception that you uh, are giving the bitch is giving her some game. Because the bitch will learn how to code switch when you're not around her. You know, and I learned that just from observation. Like, okay. You know what I mean? She using my same get down. She code switching it like a motherfucker. The bitch learning how to, you know, put on different personalities and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, so we gotta we gotta watch who we even do that towards. And, so, and see, that's the beauty of the game. You know what I'm saying? We go through all these things, and we have a level of awareness that the average person is not gonna have. The level of awareness that a pimp got is on a whole different level. It's on a whole different level. It's on a whole different level. And I love the level of discernment in which I'm developing. It's only getting better and better with time. You know what I'm saying? This is another great live, man. Another great live, man. I've been dropping a lot of great lives and a lot of more great lives to come. You know what I'm saying? And I want people to take a consideration. It's like, why? Why is... Why? Like, Ron, you talk about the perception, right? And the value. You talk about the value. You know, because, the, yes, in this game, you have to know how to code switch. For various reasons, law enforcement, different type of bitches, and it, you d- diversify your pivot when you know how to switch it up. But um, you might ask, like, Ambassador Ron, like, my biggest question to you is, you know, where do you get in a space where women are choosing you and not just the perception that they want of you? Where do you where how do we get in this space? Because you know, I've been getting number after number and I've been getting good conversations, but it hasn't led to anything. And my whole my whole like like I said previously, my whole understanding of that is you gotta campaign your ass off. You gotta hey, if it's on social media, if it's outside, and find one that it, you guys are compatible. And you might say, well, pimp can be compatible. Yeah, pimp can be compatible. Just because she's a hoe and I'm a pimp doesn't mean her hoeing match with my pimping. It, it could be various factors. Age, um, maturity. Um, you know, it's a lot of contributing factors. Style. She might like, she might want a pimp that is intelligent, but he, he kind of rough around the edges. You know what I mean? He got a little bit of sprinkle of yip in him. You know what I'm saying? So perception, a lot of bitches want the perception of you. They don't want the real gentleman of leisure suit and tie. They want to check this out, bitch. When I tell you to come here, bitch, that means come here. All that other shit don't matter, though, bitch. Just pay me my ransom because I'm a handsome bitch and sock it to my pocket. You hear me? That's the image I'm talking about. They're paying for the image. They're not even paying because of the knowledge and information. Half of the bitches, you know what I mean? The knowledge and information that only sound good to us. We only like the knowledge and information. The bitch like the wordplay, the slick talk, the, like I said, the perception. You know what I mean? They're paying for that image. That's why I asked the bitch, do you know why you giving me this money? A lot of you, you asking a bitch that, man. You asking a bitch a rhetorical question, nigga. No, she don't know why she giving you the money. What's up with my guy? Gonna sell real top of it. 
Knowledge, they don't care about that shit. They don't. You, they don't. You know, you give the bitch a, a Percocet, a Puff Bar, and you know what I mean, and some pills. You know what I'm saying? She's all good. But if you conform to that image, yeah, bitch, I see you. I see you, bitch. You see me and I see you. So what it do? The bitch is like, ooh, that's zaddy. That's daddy. Zaddy. You know what I mean? That's the perception of what a zaddy is. You know what I'm saying? And it's unfortunate. Yeah, until it's too late. You know, they only want a gentleman of leisure. And sometimes I can't even say that because some of the bitches be 30 years old. And uh, they still want a, a young, yep, uh, like a young, reckless ass nigga. Like, bro, I, I, I hear you, PZ. Like, you the suit and tie pimp. I see what type, you a Romeo pimp. I see type of nigga you is. Like, you a cool nigga, Ryan. But this gangster shit, though, like, that's me, though, Ryan. I really kill niggas, though. I'll kill you. You feel me, Ryan? Like, I'm a real nigga, though. They like that. Because... That's their idea. There's more young ladies that haven't had that hasn't had a father figure in the game. So their idea of a pimp is a gangster. You know, anybody that's willing to crash out, that's not their idea of a protective man. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand the psychological effects. They don't have a reference point of what a man is. Everybody saying Pip is a man. They don't have a... They don't, what the fuck is that? They don't have a reference point of what a man is. So they create one. It's the nigga that's willing to protect me with his gun. It's the nigga that's willing to make me feel good. So us as wise individuals, we have to say, you know what? Do I want to play into this perception? Knowing that my life can be put out on the line? And I'm speaking from experience. You know what I'm saying? They rather hang with someone who wants to die and go to jail instead of getting money and staying safe. Exactly. They're still looking for that excitement. In that adrenaline rush. That they got in high school. When they let all the niggas run a train on them and they got gang bang. That matriculated within the lifestyle. And they're looking for that same adrenaline and rush when the bitch get out of pocket with the weed man. They, they've taken the same narrative as a square and entered it into the lifestyle. So I believe that's why I'm going to start speaking more on square topics. So we can change the narrative in regards to what a man is, the value of a man. Because there's like I said this on the other live and I'm, I'm going to continue to bring this up. Too many bitches are bringing the square narrative into the lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I can't choose my nigga unless he got a passport. I can't choose a nigga unless he eat my coochie. My nigga got to have a foreign. You're choosing the same things that you would choose as a square. And that's detrimental. Remember Snoop Dogg song, Can I Get My Thrills? Come on, man. Facts. You know what I'm saying? They choosing the same things that they would choose as a square. So my agenda, what I'm going to do is totally change the narrative. I'm not going to bring up too much about, you know, pimp this and pimp that. It's going to be solely. I'm going to intertwine the game for show. You can't forget the game. But I'm going to break up more so. You know what I'm saying? You know, what is a man's value? What's the point of being independent if you're preaching generational wealth? How is being an independent woman helping you deal with men? What is a woman's power? Is her power only in her pussy? Is every man a trick and a sugar daddy? What did the black church do towards the black man in regards to chivalry? In regards to being a gentleman. What is being a gentleman? We're going to have these discussions. Being a provider versus being a trick. We're going to have those type of discussions. You know what I mean? Because 
there uh, young ladies are not being taught and see this is the this is cuz we got to get to the root to understand why the fruit is the way it is the root produced the fruit you know that's what i like I, you know kevin samuels came from a different angle i would come from a totally different angle you know what i'm saying type of a globalism yeah kevin samuels came from a different angle i'm coming from a totally different angle you know, I, you know, I'm an advocate for understanding a man's value. You know, like when they get, like I said, when they get say my bills is $3,000 or oh, my bills is $3,000, man, I'm, that's grown man bills. Nigga, that don't make you no man because your bills is $3,000. You know what I'm saying? Top up until the guy. You know what I mean? But... I'm 50 minutes in, and uh, this was a productive live. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, you know, hella people to enjoy this live, but it was productive. And I know that I definitely, definitely um, hit home on a lot of notes that I want to uh, hit home on. A lot of things that went through my mind, and I'm just like, you know what? I got to go live and talk about these things, man. I appreciate everybody that joined the live. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, Ambassador Round 16. You know what I'm saying? I don't ask for too much. I don't ask for no donations. I don't beg for no goddamn donations. I don't, none of that shit. Just subscribe to the YouTube channel, Ambassador Round 16, man. Be a blessing towards this game. Pat, I appreciate it. Blessings. You know what I'm saying? If you guys can get 10 people to subscribe to the YouTube channel, man. You have been a tremendous blessing. You know what I mean? For sure. At Global, you know what I'm saying? Man, it was so unfortunate. I got to speak on this too. It was so unfortunate having, um, had, you know, just an individual that was speaking bad about Sid, man. That was, I hated to hear some of the things that were being said about Sid because I had the opportunity to talk to Sid and to know Sid myself. And, um, it was a lot, a lot of things, a lot of misconceptions. And my whole thing is this, you know, because they only giving me a couple more minutes, but I still got to speak on it. Uh, if you're going to make it, if, if, if that individual is going to make it about uh, pedo- pedophilia, make it a broader, make it a broader thing. Why fixate it just on sinful? There are a lot of individuals within the game that had minors, you know what I mean? And I don't want to take, I don't want to take away from my message, but it's something I got to speak on, man. If you're going to speak on sinful, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to speak on uh, individuals within the game fucking with minors, why, why make sinful the focal point? There are a lot of famous individuals that uh, fuck with minors. And this, this leads me to believe that is bigger than just minors. You have an issue with sinful. Because you could have named several individuals that called themselves gentlemen of leisure. But no, you decided to make a book about an individual. And you didn't even have to just make it, you know, into the lifestyle. You could have made it a broader topic if we go talk about individuals that are uh, fucking with minors. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a big topic. There's people in the music industry. There's people, you know, that in corporate America. There's people. There's people that call themselves entrepreneurs. There's CEOs. And there's actually NFL owners, owners of a football team that also have a history of fucking with minors. And you fixated on sinful for what reason? And then brother brought up the uh, the Malcolm X biography, the autobiography. Brother, that's not. This is not an autobiography of sinful to pee. Usually when you do an autobiography, you're talking about this man's uh, this man's life. But people there's usually people there to to narrate that family members or somebody he did an interview with. This is slander. This is not an autobiography. If it's slander, then you said, you know, I want brother to rest in peace. But in the same breath, he sat up there and said, you know, he's sitting there pulling little children's pants down. You know what I'm saying? And it was the wrong word. I commented in the comment section. It was totally the wrong word. He used the word 
a pedophile. You know, pedophiles at the end of the day is you're attracted to children. That's the definition of a pedophile. Uh, he, hebophilia, and I wanted him to actually look this word up. What that means is you're seeking children anywhere in the ages between 11 to 15. So he used the wrong word. You know what I'm saying? Because he made it as if sinful was seeking children. And then another thing is this. And then he used the word, okay, if you don't want me to use the word pedophilia, let's use rapist. And that was just going out on a limb and it's disrespecting the dead. It's disrespecting somebody that's not here to defend itself. And I just thought that was egregious. I thought it was it wasn't called for it. And it was disingenuous because some of this information you had to know. Because if you do, if you did any type of research and you're going to put it in the book, you would know the court case. You would know some information at the end of the day. You wouldn't mislead the people that are not cognitive. You know what I'm saying? Because he used the word racist. And I said, hold on. Racist means to force somebody to have sexual intercourse with you. So when he said that, I said, you know what? You know, I don't agree, you know, with the message. And I question the primary intentions. You know, just because somebody sits up there and says, you know what, uh, we got to get into the semantics of the words that you're using if you're going to sit up there and speak bad about an individual. And I can say this, too. I think his primary intentions, you know, what I'm saying is to sell a book, but also the same thing that, that your, your whole movement, it sounds like you were influenced by sinful. You know what I mean? Author of Gang. Sinful had something called the Museum of Gang. So, I, you know, it was a lot of things that I want to say. Like, hold on, brother, you called this man a rapist. That That is not right. I, to be honest with you, you know, the young lady still wanted to communicate with Sin even after um, she be, after she uh, became of age. She still wanted to communicate with Sin even after the, the court thing, even to... Even up to his death, she wanted to communicate with Sid. He changed his tune, tune when I was up there to rest in peace. But he really hates Sinful because Sinful roasted him. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And he's used to, what it sounds like is, he's used to dealing with people that don't have the mental capacity to have an intellectual conversation. And he's, you, he, you know what I'm saying? Because... It, it just, it, it sounds like he was influenced by saying that my thing is, why didn't you come up with the book when Sinful was here? You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's a question that I got. Why, why didn't you come up with this book when Sinful was here? Why fixate it just on Sinful? You know what I'm saying? Why make it a Sinful to P thing? Make it a, make it a, if you really care, cared about minors, why just fixate it on a pimp? Make it a global thing. And then furthermore, because it was so many misconceptions in regards to some of the things he was bringing up. And there was a lot of lies. And it was just very disingenuous. You know what I mean? You're standing up for pedophiles. You're standing up for pedophiles. You know, no. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing up for after the day. The truth. Tell the truth. You can't say where this man's mind was in regards to, especially if you've never had a conversation with this man. You've never sat down and had an intellectual conversation with this man to know he was in his lust. He was in his. How do you know, brother? You know what I mean? How do you know that he was in his lust? And you know what I mean? If he was a pedophile, an ID wouldn't have been brought up at all. You know, it was even said that she showed a fake ID. If he really didn't give a fuck, an ID wouldn't even be brought about at all. It, there would be no conversation about an ID in regards to sinful to pee. You know what I'm saying? He going down the same road Kiko went down. Because truth be told, Kiko started for the game. It ended up going against the game over shit like this. Yeah? They only giving me 50-something seconds, man. I might touch on it a little bit more, but I'm not going to touch on it too much. It's just... I just, I think that, you know, could the slander this man, he can't even defend himself. It's like, come on, dude. You talking about a dead man. You talking about somebody that's no longer here. And I don't really see a lot of people speaking up on it. You know what I'm saying? And um, but rest in peace, sinful to pee, man. Let that man rest. You know what I'm saying? 
And I, I hate I hate for his name to go down in vain for the individuals that's speaking down on this day, bro. But peace and blessings to everybody that joined the live. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube Ambassador Round 16. Like, share, and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'll be going live soon again. But blessings to everybody. What?